Hey everybody, um, if you saw my top 10 Tim Burton's list, I thought I'd make another top 10 list of one of my favorite directors. That's right, Steven Spielberg. I love Steven Spielberg. He's got so many great films, so it was hard to make a top 10 list, but I did my best, so I thought, what the hell, let's make a top 10 of my personal favorite Steven Spielberg films. And of course, before a top 10, I have to give you my five honorable mentions. Those five honorable mentions are Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Munich, The Color Purple, and Schindler's List. Five awesome films, just couldn't make the list. But what did make my list was my number 10, Lincoln. Yes, Honest Abe Lincoln. This movie is incredible. Mostly thanks to Steven Spielberg's direction. He really directed this film incredibly, incredibly well. And yeah, the performances are fantastic. Daniel Day Lewis won his Oscar for it, was absolutely stunning in this movie. He's fantastic. He can play anything. He's an amazing actor. He can play Batman. <laughs> But yeah, Tom Lee Jones was also good in this movie. Um, the entire cast in this movie was just great. The entire ensemble of it was just so good. The dialogue was just riveting, and the story was fantastic. I love this. This is not like a biopic about uh, Lincoln. This is actually just during the times when Lincoln is just trying to free slavery during the Civil War. That's it. That's it. It's not about his life. It's just about the Civil War and how Lincoln's just trying to abolish slavery, which is great. And this movie is fantastic. One of my favorite Spielberg films. Coming number nine is Saving Private Ryan. Everyone loves this war movie. I don't even need to explain why. It's amazing. It's one of the best war movies ever. It's so well directed. It's so well edited. It's so well shot. Tom Hanks is fantastic in this movie. The score for this movie is just hauntingly amazing. And yeah, I love this movie. I adore this movie. The action scenes kick ass. It's very tragic at times to watch. But yeah, it's so good. It's so freaking good. Yeah, you get to see Vin Diesel get popped in like the first 15 minutes. But yeah, it's awesome. I enjoyed this movie. It's a little sad. It's a little hard to watch because of some of the war scenes. But it's fantastic. If you love war movies, you'll adore Saving Private Ryan. Give it a watch. Coming in number 8 is Minority Report. This is actually one of Tom Cruise's best movies. Not his very best. It's one of his best. This is actually a very smart, very clever science fiction film. And I was blown away by this movie when I first saw it. I didn't see it when it first came out. I saw it like years later when I bought the DVD, and it's absolutely incredible. It's so freaking good. I won't spoil the ending for this movie because it's awesome, but yeah, check this movie out. If you love science fiction films, you will love Minority Report. It's so well acted, so well structured, and it's beautifully directed and beautifully executed too. It's fan freaking tastic. Watch it, especially if you're a sci-fi fan. Coming in number seven is Jaws. No, no. <laughs> yes, the movie that made us all afraid to get back in the water, and I'll say it should, because this movie scared the living shit out of me when I was a kid. It scared the crap out of my cousin. I'm sorry if you're watching this, I apologize for mentioning you, but still, it really scared the crap out of him, but it scared the crap out of me. This movie is terrifying. It's scary as shit. See that shark? God, it's fucking terrifying. Whew. Thank God Roy Schneider is there to protect us, because, oh. He kicks ass in this movie, and he's awesome in this movie. Richard Dreyfuss is also in this movie, and he's great, too. And, yeah, I love this movie. It's so freaking good. Yeah, it's like a monster movie. I guess you can kind of call it that, but it's awesome. It's an amazing monster movie. It's one of the best monster movies. And, yeah, the, the way they did the shark is just so good. The animatronics on the shark it just looks so awesome. Like, it's terrifying. It's really scary. And all the shots with the shark, like... You see the look of the, you don't get to see what the shark looks like for a long time. You just see the point of view of the shark. It's very clever filmmaking. It's actually one of the first movies to actually do the point of view kind of shot, which I loved. And yeah, this movie is fucking awesome. Steven Spielberg directed it very, very well. It's well acted, and it creeps the living shit out of me. Um, everyone has seen Jaws, so I don't have to recommend it, because you probably have already seen it. Come in number six, speaking of monster movies, Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's actually John Williams. It's one of his best scores ever. I love Jurassic Park. I love the soundtrack to Jurassic Park. I actually have the soundtrack on my phone because it's awesome. Yeah, I love Jurassic Park. This movie, again, just like what Toy Story did, this movie is just groundbreaking. It's changed cinema with its CG. The CG looks so real, and still to this day, it still holds up. Yeah, the animatronics and the robotics look amazing still. They look incredibly real. But yeah, this movie changed cinema. This was the first movie I ever saw. It was not just a movie. It was an experience. This movie was an experience. 
I was blown away by, by Jurassic Park, and I'm still to this day blown away by Jurassic Park. It's fantastic. The visuals are awesome. The CG is incredible. The direction is awesome. And the characters are great too. They're all likable and they're all memorable. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, uh, yeah, and you, you just uh, you, you can't bring people back. Yeah, no, you sell it. You sell it. You sell it. <laughs> that was my terrible Jeff Goldblum. I apologize for that. I apologize. Get into my next one. Come in number five is a classic. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, I mentioned a while ago in my video. I did in my video. I talked about the Twilight Zone. And yeah, in my, I, I took a class in high school called Science Fiction, and every week we watched The Twilight Zone, and that actually became one of my favorite shows of all time. But also in this class, this introduced me to Close Encounters of the Third Kind. We watched Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and then I wrote a paper about it. And honestly, when I watched Close Encounters of the Third Kind in this class, I loved it. I adored this movie. I haven't even heard of this movie. Literally, I didn't. I wasn't the film buff when I took this class as much as I am now. I'm a huge film buff now, because this was when I was about 16, but yeah. I'm like, ooh, Steven Spielberg directed it. I love Steven Spielberg, and I watched this movie in that class. I was blown away by it. I had to run out a week later and buy the movie, because it's so freaking good. I've seen it like 20 times now, and it, I still love it. Richard Dreyfuss is good. The visuals are good. The atmosphere is just amazing. It's a little bleak at times, but I love it. I love this movie. Check it out, especially if you love science fiction, and you love Steven Spielberg. It's Fantastic. Coming number four is the lovable E.T., the extraterrestrial. E.T. phone home. I'll be right here. <laughs> Were you creeped out by that? I, I was a little creeped out. <laughs> but yeah, I love E.T. E.T. is great. I love the story about a boy and an alien. He's just trying to bring him back to his home planet. And the government's after him. You don't know what to do. And, oh my god, it's awesome. This movie is incredible. It's full of heart. It's full of great characters, and it's full of just great writing. The writing in this movie is really good. They really know how to write real kid characters. These kids actually felt like real kids. And yeah, they actually felt like genuine people. I love E.T. I fell in love with E.T. when I was a kid, and I still love it to this day. It's amazing. Love E.T. E.T. <laughs> Coming in at number three is a pretty recent one, and probably a movie a lot of people will probably disagree with, but I loved this movie. War Horse. I was blown away by War Horse. It's so freaking good. It's actually a remake of an older film, but yeah, I don't care. This movie is fantastic. It's so tragic to see what all this horse goes through, but also it's, a little, it's very inspiring. And it's very interesting to watch. Like, I love seeing a movie just through a horse. And you get to see all these characters and all, all the things this horse goes through through all this through World War One, and it's absolutely brilliant. This movie is fantastic. Again, if you love war movies and you love Spielberg, check this movie out. Some people are saying, oh, no, it's not that great. I totally disagree. This movie is fan freaking tastic I loved this movie. War Horse, great film. Yeah, for my number one and my number two, I had no idea what to put. Like, oh, this is my number one. No, this is my number one. This is my number two. Oh, no, no. I couldn't because these two films are like, like, they're both like one of my favorite films of all time. But I chose an order and I think I, I feel comfortable with this order. I, I think this is the right order. So yeah, coming in my number two is Catch Me If You Can. Yes, this is a movie about uh, Frank Abagnale Jr., which is one of the most youngest American criminals. Yeah, he did all chank banks. Basically, Frank Abagnale Jr., he basically ripped off banks. Yeah, he did check frauds. And yeah, how they tell his story in this movie is so clever and so unique and so well done, so well executed. I just fell in love with this movie. Later on, DiCaprio and Tom Hanks make this movie. Again, I mentioned this a lot in my videos. I love cat and mouse games. The cat and mouse game between Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio and the chase between these two just make this movie so enter entertaining. It's so freaking awesome. And DiCaprio is amazing. Tom Hanks is amazing. This entire movie is amazing. The writing is amazing. The score is amazing. John Williams, again, does a masterpiece of a score. The story is great. The character is great. Everything about this movie is great. And my number one favorite Steven Spielberg film is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. I love Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is like my favorite movie character of all time. And again, I love Temple of Doom, Law of Last Crusade. Everyone knows King of the Crystal Skull is a guilty pleasure of mine. But Raiders of the Lost Ark is the best. It's one of my favorite action movies. It's my all-time favorite Steven Spielberg film. And it's one of my favorite Harrison Ford films. Yes, Blade Runner is my favorite, but yeah, this is my second favorite Harrison Ford film. Harrison Ford's great. He's amazing as Indiana Jones. 
and I love Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love the vil the villain Belloc. I love Marianne. Yes, I had a huge crush on her as a kid, and I still do to this day. 80s, 80s Karen Allen. Not not now Karen Allen, but 80s Karen Allen. Big crush on her. And I love this movie. I love the action. The editing is great. The cinematography is great. The costume are great. The thing about this movie is great. The opening to this movie is one of the greatest movie openings ever. I love Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's the greatest Steven Spielberg film ever. Love Raiders. Whoosh. So that was my top 10 favorite Steven Spielberg films. And please, comment below. Give me your list of your top 10 favorite Steven Spielberg films. Comment below. Let me know. I'd love to hear your opinions. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.